My advice to anyone out there who's thinking about utilizing generative AI within their business is to just do it. Jump into it, experiment, embrace it, and if it's not the right direction, it's much easier to change. In terms of generative AI, public LLMs are remarkably flexible and adaptive tools, but you have to have a clear understanding of the problem you're trying to solve to optimize their use. You have to know where they work and where they don't. Today, for people building their own AI, there are two main steps that they need to take. Uh, one is to train or adapt or customize an off-the-shelf model, and the other is to deploy it, to make it an API that you can use within your applications. At Siemens, we're focused on three aspects with generative AI. First, we're focused on analyze. This means we're working with our customers to help them analyze all the data that they have. Second is generate, meaning we're actually generating engineering content together with our customers. And third is operate. We're operating many factories around the world and we're bringing AI to this task. CSIM's mission is to empower everyone in the world to build 3D experiences and simulations with geospatial data. Generative AI and geospatial go together very well. Gen AI can augment the real world geospatial data and NVIDIA's approach to a platform enables us to do exactly that. At Lowe's, we are making sure all our efforts around generative AI is about taking away all the friction for the customers and making our associates into super associates. Just making sure that all the knowledge around home improvement, all the specific knowledge about Lowe's, we make it available for them so that they are able to answer the questions from the customers in the best possible ways. We all want to democratize the creation of 3D experiences, and generative AI lowers the barrier to entry. Whether it's code co-pilots, text-to-3D model, or even text-to-applications, Gen AI makes it faster to get started and faster to iterate. Well, these new type of models, the transformers models, are things that we're actually using in our everyday life. Whenever you're typing an email and you see a suggestion for the end of the sentence, that's a transformer model. The true value of these technologies really come to life when you can apply them across the entire value stream of the organization. Particularly AI and automation give us an amazing opportunity to drive real productivity to the business. And our house of brand strategy can actually be completely reimagined using the amazing technologies of Omniverse and Gen AI. So my message for people who are joining the generative AI revolution is don't be afraid. We have all the tools so that building AI with open models is just as easy as building services with APIs.